Ah, yes, the sheep pens are looking uh, pretty nice here, though, see one of the, the uh, light blue ones is in the wrong pin. I'll have to fix that at some point. Anywho, I think, I think it's time to uh, go down deep, down below, into my minds that I surely know have many wonderful things. But, time to stock up with some gear first. Uh, one of these... Uh, hmm... I have an idea. Take some of these... Eh, not that many. And I'm gonna grab... Do I have any sticks here? I don't believe I do. Something, something, go crazy. Go crazy? Yeah. Don't mind if I do. Ha 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 ha. Where was I? Oh, yes. So, I had a bit of a dream last night. I encountered some, this person who claimed to be some sort of mage. And yeah. Not sure how I got those t together, but... Eh. So, I had a dream last night. Someone who claimed to be some sort of mage... Uh, he seemed quite quite cheerful. Uh, we there was a number of other people there. We went on some sort of amazing adventure, and uh, we found this deep dark fortress. It's pretty cool. I built a brick house, uh, and yeah, it was it was like something you'd see in a movie. Hmm. Yes, this way. Aha. Uh -huh. So, uh, so yeah, so, I was, uh, chit-chatting, uh, between the, uh, battles there, and, you know, it's like, oh, of course, you know, uh, you can, uh, do magic and things like that. And it's like, yeah, right. And he's like, well, well, let me show you something, and, well, sure enough, he was able to, uh, you know, use his powers to, uh, lead us on to, uh, super underground fortress, that was pretty neat. Uh, and so I was like, oh, okay, so so maybe it's just something about combining the various things you have available here. Hmm, old mines. I've been working these for a while. It's rather boring stuff, though. Yes, this way, I think it was. Doo -doo -doo. And, uh, where was I? So I, I figure these uh, dreams are prophetic in any fashion, or if, you know, maybe I was just hallucinating, or perhaps my very essence was ripped out of this world and tossed onto one similar but very, very far away. But whatever the case, uh, I think perhaps I should try experiment a little bit. See if uh, I can uh, reproduce some of the effects I was seeing. I'm seeing this really tough rock stone stuff here. I wonder... Yeah, okay. So clear this one away. No, don't break the bow on this stupid gravel. Alright, now this is going to be tricky. Let's hope this doesn't do something stupid. Because I haven't been able to break this stuff before or anything less, uh, I guess, sharp. Oh, holy crap. It worked. But I didn't actually pick it up. Ah, crap. And move this one here. Let's try it again, because you know, this is at least progress. Yeah, I hope I just don't. <laughs> be silly of me if I'm just shattering these pieces, because they look like, like some sort of obsidian. Aha! I did pick one up. The day is mine, Trebek. I think I'm going to collect a bit of it here. But anywho, the uh, the mage fellow, uh, you know, and was casting a spell, and there was a number of us there. I, mean, was, oh, I feel like I remember any of their names. The name Melvin, or Marek, or... Milios or something like that. 
Uh, maybe I'll remember it at some point. Um, he uh, and you know was sort of you know leading the expedition. Uh, oh, I should start at the beginning. So at the beginning, uh, I uh, landed on a church. Like it's like oh, I was just flying through the air, and that's maybe some sort of other different dream there. And suddenly, I don't have my wings again. It just you know, it kind of sucks. But anyway, so so I fall out of the air and. I managed to land safely on top of some sort of uh, temple or church type building. And uh, from there, I climb down and wander about a bit. And, you know, there's, there's a few other folks running around. And there's, it was sort of uh, in the middle of a village of some sort. Ah, I keep missing them. Mm -hmm. This is going to be painful, isn't it? And, uh, so I figured, oh, it's like, sort of like here, except there's people around. So I uh, managed to find my way. Aha! Got one. I think. Yes. Uh, to a place near some sort of elementary towers or something. And uh, it's like, oh, this is a fairly calm place here. Yeah. You know, it's definitely more civilized than the area living in here. Well, I am the sole component of civilization. Yeah. I bring light to the darkness and stuff. So, so I guess I sort of felt at ease there. And, uh... Sure, I wasn't like the sole master of my domain there, but, you know, whatever. Uh, where was I? Scary music look around a little bit, make sure there's nothing sneaking up on me. Ah, I like those creep faces. Um, so yeah, so I uh, found these towers of the elements or something like that. There's only four elements, so, you know, pretty sure now there's like a hundred and some on the periodic table. But maybe it's, maybe it's sort of a mage thing. Hmm. Oh, I guess it's sort of like the traditional elements, like earth, air, fire, water, something. Ew, look at that. And that was lucky of me. Um, anyway, so it felt quite calm there and safe, so not too far off I uh, started collecting uh, clay like I've been do doing on this this place here. Uh, I built myself a little house on the side of a hill. So uh, I guess not much better than my original hovel, but uh, you know, it's I'm a little bit more skilled at uh, construction now, I think. And pop! There we go. A bunch of these. Weird smoke stuff here. Um, hmm. So, there I was. Setting up my homestead. When suddenly it's like, Hey! You want to go on an adventure? I'm like, Hells yes! And so we, uh... The uh, various people of the land gather together, and holy smokes, that could have killed me. Hmm, alright, time to move the water, I think. It's weird how it can have infinite water from a single point. Maybe, maybe magic works here too. Because that's what I'm going to try, I think. But I, th I suspect from when I could tell from wandering around, at this uh, dark obsidian rock stuff here. Uh, if it was sitting, shouldn't it be more fragile? Or, yeah, maybe it is. Um, saying, uh, yeah, this is sort of a oh. zombies, go away! Don't want you cause me trouble right now. I'm busy. Um, the obsidian stuff should be a primary component of a number of things. So I better get a good deal of it. Or at least, you know, enough pieces that I'm willing to put up with this sort of thing. And so, okay, then, so we gathered. Uh, he provided us with some uh, basic supplies, and we uh, headed out. And he began casting the spell where he 
had this orb sort of thing, and I think he was chanting something too, maybe, I don't actually remember. You know, it was all very hazy. Uh, and, uh, and it was, and he, you know, he tossed it up, and it would uh, come falling down, you know, it would first sort of stream out into the sky, and then fall down somewhere somewhere nearby. Uh, and, you know, that was pointing us in the proper direction. We followed this for a while, and we entered the night, and the, uh... Hmm. I think I'm almost done here. Uh, a couple more pieces, just to be sure. Uh, it entered the night, and, you know, we were beset by the various creatures that, uh, you know, bother this land. So, it must have been very, you know, at least, you know, maybe it's the same world here. Maybe just very, very distant part of it. Uh, who really knows? Well, I didn't see very much that stuff there. Meh. I'm taking my water with me, boyos. Hmm. And, okay, what, what happened next? So, oh yes, we fought valiantly. Some of our number were slain in battle. We f foyered on, or foraged on, or... We marched on! There we go, that's the word I'm looking for. I think. Right. Anywho. Uh, and we uh, crossed the sea, we climbed up some hills and started searching caves. Uh, and he said, no, we went the wrong way, and we went to an island nearby, uh, and found, you know, a peculiar opening in the earth. We climbed in and wandered about, and someone yelled, I found it. They were shortly after slain. But we found where they had fallen, and we explored a bit. And there, indeed, there was a fortress of doom, and I had chills coming. Sort of like that. Um, going up and down my spine the entire time. It's like I could sense evil. Something dark was hidden nearby. And so we, we, we went into the fortress and began exploring. And all seemed well. Then we found this weird room with some sort of weird circular structure in it. And these little critters that were really freaking annoying. Like, sort of remind me of silverfish, you know, those little guys you get, like, um, you know, uh, in kitchens and things like that. They munch on things uh, left over on the floor there. Here's zombies. There's zombies in my library. No, he's outside. Cool. Uh, hmm. Oh yeah, there was a library there too. Hmm. The mage guy seemed really interested in the books. I'm gonna double check my library. Don't like uninvited guests. Okay, we're cool, I think. Anyway. Wow. Ow. So we we're there and we explored a bit and we found that the, the circular sort of circular structure place. And uh I'm gonna grab some of those. And... No, there's books involved somehow too. I'm gonna stick those. Oh, it was over here, I think. Let's see if I can piece something together here. Uh, and uh, so the and so we were exploring. It's like this is real neat. We should. You know, is this maybe this is some sort of portal or something like that? Uh, I'm like portal? Yes, that would make sense. That would explain all the evil I'm feeling and chills. Okay, maybe it was a little more melodramatic than I really am in real life. But you know, maybe my recent behaviors, oops, uh, sort of maybe rubbing off onto my own dreams. Ah, <sighs> what I do to keep myself sane. Well, anyway. Uh, this sort of reminds me of the structure. Eh, saw it as one tower. Um, we we're there, and then suddenly, the uh, the tall the tall guys the the uh, ender 
he called them Endermen, I think it was. Uh, you know, he, they be, they fell upon us in about hundreds. It was horrible. It was like they were telling us to get out. Uh, many, many of us were badly injured or slain outright. Uh, I'm pretty sure my, you know, the mage friend there uh, managed to escape with his life. life uh, but I don't actually remember what happened to me. And then, and then I woke up here again. It, it couldn't have been a dream. I fix these together, put the book on top, and I get this weird table thing. It seems mystical. Yes, this is this is right. I think somehow. Hmm. Bam, bam, bam it up. Ah, oh, this seems like the logical place to put it. I think. Uh. Oh, sort of. Oh, maybe up here. Sort of overlooking at all the stuff. All the stuffs. Boo. So maybe. Wait, my book's changed here. It's... Holy crap, that's... that's What? My mind has been broken again. This is exactly like it was. The dream... Holy crap, that wasn't a dream, was it? Something pulled me from this place and took me to wherever the heck that was. That village, those towers, that fortress, it's all out there somewhere. I must... Where's my map? I must explore beyond what I've seen so far. Perhaps even beyond where I could, what I can find on this freaking map here. Cause... Oh, there's so much more to this world than I thought. So, so, uh, yeah. I just don't know what to say. Mm. But, I'm... Uh, Put it here and read from the book. Yeah, this is not Tunisian here. It's not English. It's not even freaking Klingon. It's something. Um, here we go. Um, here Bam. Hmm. Sword's freaking glowing now. The book it it's alive. It knows I'm near. Mm. So that um Mervin guy or Milago or Mileg Malak Mijon Mojang maybe. Yeah. Mojang, that might work. So that Archmage there, uh, he seemed like a pretty cool guy. I hope I run into him again. That whatever uh, mystical powers, well, that are touching my sword right now, that uh, brought me out there might do me one for and uh, maybe bring you know maybe bring me back to him someday, or at the very least not you know to him unknown harm. Hello, cow. I'm going to test this out now. Hope you don't mind. That was pretty cool. Huh. Sword, like, flings things into the air. It's like some sort of knockback or something. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You're dead. Oh, this would be great for those creepy face guys. Like, you're gonna, you know, it's that like, they're coming up and they're like, that's a very nice, and I'm like, heck no, you're not coming at me. I'm like, bam, and you're like flying over there, and like, they're like, oh, that hurt, and I'm over here now, I can't explode. Yeah, that's gonna be fantastic. Hmm. This is rad. I wonder, you know, if this is indeed some sort of weird magic. I, sh I should be really careful with it, not sort of hastily do stuff. You know, I feel like I've lost something. But the orbs! Oh! 
That's what I've imbued into here. It makes sense now. Huh. So, if I beat up on stuff, and... And it's, you know, like... All that. It's gonna be like... Woo! It's like, uh... I'm getting powered up. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, so that adventure, that dream, you know, if it was a dream, or real actual experience in a land far, far away, you know, that was pretty damn rad. Hmm. I wish, I wish people would show up here randomly. It's so lonely. Here in my kingdom of crazy architecture. Huh. Also, there's also so portals, portals, yes, portals. Hmm, where would it be safe to build something like that? Obviously not in the house. I'm gonna do something here. Um, underground maybe. Yeah. Down in the underground, whoa, 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 find someone true. So we got my super duper secret passageway with the random workbench in it. Uh, and we got this intersection here. And this always seems a little dark to me, so there we go. And it curves around that way, so I'm going to build my super duper secret portal experiment here. Now you're thinking with portals. That'd be the right size, right? Hmm. I'll set it in a little bit. So if it's four. Eight, six, twelve. Yeah, that, that, that. but again, maybe I don't need the corners. Hmm. This is not going to be exactly like the uh, one we saw, but it's going to be at least more more functional. Uh, here, I just feel like somebody's about to sneak up on me, like evil clone. So, ah, ow, my snout. Hmm. Well, it's a start, I guess. Maybe it needs some sort of way to ignite it. Because, oh, yeah, the mage, like, plopped one of the, you know, that little um, orb dealio into the, uh, the what's it there. And it, uh, and he, you know, it's like we're talking about, it's like we got to learn, figure out how to activate this. And he's like, you put this in here, and so he did. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Radioactive, Michael Fonte and stuff. Um, hmm. You know, it'd be really useful to be able to start a fire anytime I wanted. So I'm going to offload the radioactive materials and diamonds first. Got me some flint. Take one of those, and aha! I have a little bit of slit in the steel. Wow! And I just flew it on the ground for some reason. I am apparently clumsy today. Let's hope that uh, my clumsiness doesn't, uh, you know, you know, uh, equate to clumsiness with learning this magic crap. Okay, it's not crap, it's real serious business. But it's totally unscientific. It just doesn't make sense to me. Yet it somehow worked. Hmm. It's just combining of elements, like I've been doing already to make all my stuff. Just com combining of, my ele of elements to make something new. And, you know, the world, the physics of this world don't make a lot of sense in any way. Because I can, like, Okay, gravel's not a good example, but I could, like, dig out everything around that block. It would stay. So, obviously, gravity is selective. So, maybe... 
maybe reality itself is pierceable. So let's test this, make sure it works. Yep. Makes fire. Cool. Um, let's see if we can uh, ignite the fires. Whoa. Um, that was a lot easier than I expected. Um, yeah. Um, hmm. Okie dokie. I think the screams of a far off hell plane are kind of freaking me out here. I hope no, like, weird evil wizards come through and it's like, What are you doing? You're tearing up my homeland. That would just kind of suck. Um, I am going to go prepare, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I want to go. But it might be my way, way home. Or maybe just the way to get my wings back. I think I'd settle for that at this point. Hmm. Yeah. I've brought doom to all of creation by opening a portal to somewhere. I thought things that showed up here weren't bad. Ah. <sighs>